Deshaun Davis is a linebacker from uh, Mobile also. Just a hard-nosed, uh, physical guy that just has a nose for the football. Hurt his knee his senior year. If he had played this year, he'd have been very highly recruited uh, on that. We really feel great about him. In my freshman year, um, if I was a coach, I would have redshirted me too. My body wasn't ready. I wasn't in physical shape to play. Um, my knee wasn't full of recovery. Still had to get my quad stronger. Um, I was still wearing a brace and everything. You know, I just wasn't ready. So, I mean, when they redshirted me, I kind of knew it was coming. I didn't really play on defense like that. I was a special teams guy. Times were tough his first couple of years because all people could see was his height, his weight. They didn't really look at the ball player he was. I was feeling like myself again. I feel like I was showing my ability to play. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I know the defense. I'm, I'm one of the smartest guys in the room. Like, why am I not playing? I had a conversation with my position coach at the time, and he was just telling me, like, I should transfer. Like, you should transfer. You're not good enough to play here. You won't play for me. And, like, you're my position coach, and you're telling me this. So if you're not going to put me on the field, no one's going to put me on the field. But um, Coach T. Will, who, was, who ended up getting the position coach job the following year, he, he, he saved my arm career. Because that day, he, he, he overheard the conversation. He was a GA at the time. You know, he came in and, you know, kind of defused the fire. You know, he took me into his GA office and he was just like, don't leave. Like, you, you have something to provide for Arvin. Everything happens for a reason. When it's your time and you get that opportunity and you get out there on the field, just show them what you can do. After Coach Steele got there and became the, the defensive coordinator, he called me uh, one day and he said, uh, why did Will Muschamp not play uh, Deshaun Davis? I said, uh, well, they said he was too small and too slow. He said, yeah, he all of that, but he the best defensive player that we got over here at Auburn. 2016 season was the, the kind of the arriving season for me when I, I kind of started to make a name for myself. When they released the starting lineup, uh, the starting depth chart, my name was first, and a lot of people were like, who is that? And it's like, okay, <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, watch. <laughs> and then um, we rock the bus sometimes. It's just the energy is just amazing. And then you walk down and all the fans are screaming. And they just want to touch your hand and they, they scream your name and everything. And it's like, it's go time. It's, it's about to go to war. Then you go out and the eagle is flying, man. It's, the tradition, I'm, I'm getting kind of pumped up just talking about it because I, I, I wish I was experiencing it right now. And uh, I remember we played Clemson the first game on the first series. They went forward on fourth down in our territory. And um, I batted the ball down and I went to the sideline and I went crazy. So I was like, they know me. Like, they know me now. You got to know me now. He's one of those guys who's been waiting for that moment, and his moment came, and he's, he's really ran with it now. He's fearless, runs to the ball with bad intentions. And you know, those are the kind of players I love to have on the team. Like I said, everybody from Mobile knew what we had to go through to get here, and the fact that we were still friends or brothers and still playing the same position right beside each other, you know, that just made our city happy. It was just enjoyable as a parent. It was just enjoyable for me to see him just do the thing that he loved. You know, he's like a coach on the field. I know he gives offensive coaches fits. He calls out the plays. He knows what's going on. He's just, he just knows everything as far as that goes just really, not just defensive leader, he's one of our team leaders. My oldest son was the first person in the family to graduate college, and then I had a nephew to graduate 
and Deshaun is the third person in the family. I kind of made that moment about her, um, and I kind of made that day about her, because I know without her, I mean, I wouldn't even been, you know, in that situation to graduate from college. Because there was a lot of times, man, where I really wanted to give up. Like, I really felt like the, my plate was too full, the burden was too heavy for me, and she was the one to take some burdens off me, even though she had burdens of her own. So I wanted to, you know, share that moment with her and, and tell her that this is also your, your college degree, because my mother didn't graduate from college. So it was like, okay, we have one now. I, I don't have a degree, we have one now, because without you, I wouldn't have one. It's kind of hard to put in words. It, it's awesome to, to see your child graduate, walk across the stage, even though the things that, you know, the negative words that were said to him, and he motivated himself and pushed himself to where, Mama, I'm gonna do this. And he always say he doing it for me. And I'm like, son, I just want you to make something out of yourself. Don't do it for me, do it for you. We finished the season with a big win against Purdue. Um, blowout, blowout win, sent the seniors out on the right note. I was excited, but I was sad at the same time that this this part of my, my, my this chapter in my story is ended. Like, this page is gone. And like for a while, I was really just reminiscing on my time there. And I feel like I deserve the, the time to do that. I deserve the moment. Um, and I mean, I, I was, quote unquote, grieving for a while. Not necessarily crying, but I was sad. I really was sad that it had to come to an end. But um, after a while, it was like, it's time, to, it's time to go get a bag now. <laughs> it's time to put that work in. So uh, I signed with my agent, and like four days after I signed with my agent, uh, I flew out and started training. So uh, ever since then, man, I've just been pelted to the metal. All that work is paying off, you know, all those long nights are paying off, those early mornings, they're paying off. And, but the thing about it is, you have to still do that. 